Yo, what's up, boys? Welcome back to a new video. Today, in this video, we're going to be reviewing the mouse Aerox 3. This is made by Steel Series and it's said to be one of the best mouses that they have made. I've got it in my hand here and it comes in at £50 or $60 in retail. I'm not sure what it is on Amazon, but that's how much it was where I bought it. I'll just read what it says on the back real quick because that's like some of the main features it has. For example, it only weighs 57 grams, which is like one of the lightest mouses you can buy. And some mouses you what weigh quite a lot is too heavy for people and you can't like move as fast. Oh, is this serious? It has a super smooth glide and has said that it feels wireless sometimes. That's how light it can be. But nevertheless, let's just get right into the review, boys. I'm going to open it and then we'll get into some gameplay with it. I'll give you my opinion and if you should buy it or not. But let's get right into it. <laughs> Okay, now we've got it out of the box, it literally just comes with a mouse, this is what it looks like compared to my hand, I've got pretty big hands, but that's what it looks like compared to my hand, and then I've got the wire obviously, which you can plug in, I've never had a mouse where, you know, you can actually plug in the wire, it normally just comes with it, but it just plugs in like that, and I'm going to plug it in now and test it out. On the mouse right now, it feels super light, like, uh, just, like that. It doesn't feel as light as my uh, Glorious Mad Low, but it does feel quite light. The side buttons, I like them, I like them. It feels pretty smooth and it glides really well. Right, as you can see on the bottom, you've got the mouse feet. It's got four little circles in each corner, just like that. And then it's obviously got all on the back. One thing I did notice is as soon as I plugged in the mouse, the Steel Series software popped up, which you can download. It literally took me like 10 minutes to download, and I'll go through that with you now. Alright, boys, as you can see, the Steel Series software is loading up now. We're just going to go through it real quick. It'll literally be a one minute segment. So if you want to skip, just skip one minute. Alright, here we go. We have to log in, which we'll do really quick. Alright boys, now we've logged into the Steel Series software, let's see what we can do with our mouse. So as you can see, if you click on engine, you see all the gear that you have in this certain slot, so let's click on it right now. So as you can see, once it does load up, you can see everything that you need. So let's make this full screen real quick and I'll go through it with you guys. So you can change the acceleration and deceleration from top to bottom, as you can see there, the pulling rate. You can change that as well. Angle snapping and all that stuff, and obviously you can change the DPI. It has five different levels of 400, 800, 1200, 2400 and 3200 as well. I'm personally going to use 400 DPI, that's just what I have always used. You may call me weird for that, but I don't really care. Oh, sorry! Sorry! Oh, I'm sorry! Don't hurt me! Sorry! So you can also change all the colour settings and all that, make it reactive and shit like that, but I'm not going to mess about with any of this because I'm too dumb for it. But as you can see, you can mess about with all that stuff, but I just like to keep it the default way because I think that's the best. Alright boys, I just logged on to Fortnite, let's down test this mouse in-game. Okay, now we logged into Fortnite, let's test this mouse in-game. We're going to do some free build and then we're going to test out my aim in some creative matchmaking and then we're going to wrap up the video, boys. First time I've used it. Okay, it's very light, I'm not going to lie. Like, how, how, how obviously I expected it does say on the box, how light it is. I don't know if I like it, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I mean... It does feel very light in your hands, but the side buttons feel proper mushy, I'm not gonna lie. Like, it feels like you have to press them down to use them. It also feels perfectly fine, I'm not gonna lie. The left click and right click feel really good. It's just a side button that I'm not really a fan of, but I might get used to them. So I'll do a review like two or three months after the mouse, after I've used it quite a lot, and see how I feel like then. But right now, I just feel like the mouse buttons, the side buttons, sorry, are just not like the greatest I've ever used in my life. Like this, the, like I feel like the Razor Hunter Mini side buttons were better, and even the Logitech G402 is what it's called, I don't even know. I feel like they were better on the, on the Model O as well. But let's get into some creative matchmaking gameplay, and then we'll wrap up the review. I'll give you a rating on what mice are better and what you should buy. Okay, the side buttons feel really weird, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not sure if I just have to get used to them or like they're not actually good. Maybe it's just this mouse, but I'm not enjoying the side buttons right now. Oh my 
god! He just got fully clipped. Ah! Okay, I may be wrong about this mouse. Uh, what the fuck have I just done? Oh my god. Okay, wow, that kid got clipped. Right, let me do a few more rounds and see how it is. Alright, we'll do two more rounds after this, boys, and then we'll wrap it up. Oh my god, 200. I'm, wait, I'm actually hitting, like, dead-on shots with this mouse. My aim's, like, really good. 100, like, I'm hitting 100 body shots. Okay, well, I spoke too soon. Okay, I got bullied. Alright, GG's. Get the fuck out! You fucking washy boys! Don't ever fucking contest me! Because you'll get 1v3 like that! LOSER! That's pretty much gonna be the end of the video, boys. To wrap the review up, I'd give the mouse like a 7 out of 10. Hey, stop! Why? Why? 10, but I've only used it for literally like 20 minutes. The RGB is really good, the software is really good. The side buttons is the only thing I've really got to complain about. But I might get used to them in the near future. But let's see what happens. I'll make a review like two months after and see what happens. What the fuck? I'll make a review two months after and then that's the final review for the mouse and whether you should buy it or not. If you are trying to buy a mouse like ASAP, I would recommend it. But just be careful of the side buttons and I will get warranty on it just in case you want to take it back. But nevertheless, that's the end of the video, boys. I really hope you have enjoyed. If you are new to the channel, please remember to comment, like, and subscribe. It really helps me out and supports the channel further. Nevertheless, boys, peace out. Have a great day.